Okay, you might hear a little thunder. We got a storm coming in. Might be Fred. <laughs> I'm upgrading my tools. Um, little by little, I'll be doing this probably for another 10 years. Um, after I reach 67, I probably won't be doing it full time anymore. I'll be doing light duty stuff. You can hear a little bit of background. <laughs> um, and I, I don't have a dedicated set of electrical screwdrivers. They're coming down the way. I've never had an amp meter. I started out with a wiggy style uh, analog for my deal, a yellow one. 25 years ago, at least. Um, been doing electrical work for almost three decades. I, this kit that I'm going to show you is a really nice kit. And I added two other three other items to this video hopefully you find them interesting and I apologize for the length I also apologize I can't give you a proper review right now I will be putting a link into the multimeter kit a gentleman's video who is much better than I could probably even make myself because he has that much experience with it he uses the tool and it shows in his video okay so I don't have a problem giving somebody else credit when credit is due okay did a great video so now I'll have my regular multimeter. I'll have this uh, Ampere's meter, amp meter, which has a lot of functions, very similar to my regular multimeter, which I really like. Um, not that expensive, pretty well priced. And there's a lot of things I gotta figure out before I give you proper review one by one. So they'll come here, they'll, they'll get here. It's just I need a little bit of time because I want to do it right one by one. Okay, I want to get used to the tool and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, it should feel a little bit like Christmas today. Seem to have four items here I'd like you guys to see. Alright, so I'll start opening them up one by one. This first one here is a Klein AFC GFCI outlet tester. I do not have AFCI uh, outlets here. I only have GFCI. Despite having aluminum wire, because we have arc four breakers. So I'm interested to see how far I can actually get with this tool and do a full review later on. A little bigger than I would like, but it, Klein tends to make some really cool tools, and I have a feeling this was going to be extremely handy later on, and I will get full potential out of it. Okay, a lot to go on with this tool later on. I'll open these up in a second. Just give me a minute, okay? Apologize for all that. Okay, this one is from KC Tools. Okay, <laughs> let's open it up and see what we got. Look at the size of that bad boy. <laughs> This is 200 millimeter long, 6.5 millimeter long. Weha it says 1610. Excuse me, once 1, 1.6 times 10.0 times 200. Okay, um, definitely electrical screwdriver. There's the tip, how big it is. You guys get an idea for that. In case I gotta work on something live and I really want to talk it down, that's why I wanted this one guy for. Um you can barely <laughs> see how big this thing is, it fills up the whole screen. I do have a larger one, an 18 inch, but it's not insulated, and I remember using a south wire and from Lowe's years back when they first came out or they started coming out with some of their products I had a screwdriver and I snapped the tip right off not gonna happen with this guy okay looks like a number two tight number two there um, on the tip it's a little broad which is probably what I need because I have a whole bunch of other screwdrivers okay that's item number one 
do a lot of electrical work and it seems the more I do this place likes to surprise me a lot <laughs> it likes to find new things for me to do and learn okay I'm gonna put a link to a video I saw on YouTube where a guy describes this so you guys can get a full description of how it works because I can't do what he did in the time I have available I have to go on a mercy call in a few minutes okay let me see if I can open it up and start to get a feel for it at least anyway Got a ton of descriptions here, so hence I'm gonna put that video up. Or well, at least the link to the gentleman's video. I mean, he gets credit for it, I don't get no credit for nothing, but at least I can provide you with some information for now until I get a chance to use this thing. Okay, there is no pouch there, there's definitely instructions, a lot of packaging, uh, a lot of information there. Not so easy for me to give you this information, but I'm gonna try. Okay. So you guys get an idea of what the advertising on the tool, okay? I did see a bag, but there's no bag with it. This is the instructions manual. I gotta read all this. Klein Tools has been around since 19, <laughs> well, 1856 or something like that. Oh my God, 164 years, 163 years. They've been around a long time. And they're actually getting extremely innovative with their electrical equipment which I totally appreciate for us guys. This cable here, is flexible. It looks like it's for 20 amp. Uh, so that's nice. You got all normal stuff here, plus you got other things here, which I have to test out. But the video is going to show you all of that. Battery indicator, a lot going on here that's going to be useful for me in the long run. Okay? I will put up reviews on these guys later on. Most of these guys, when I get a chance gonna take a while because I want to put them through their paces I don't just want to well this does this this does that I want to give you from experience what it does this is probably my favorite of the bunch <laughs> and this one I bought to go with this kit so we'll discuss that one first and then the kit and I gotta go help out this lady because she's an elderly woman Okay, here it is. 15 amp maximum. You actually plug it in and you can put your meter, ohm meter, amp meter, amperage meter, I'm sorry, amperes, around the side and get a reading. Now the small side should be the hot if it's wide here and Excuse me, in the U.S., um, I live on the East Coast my entire life for the most part. Um, so I'm guessing the rest of the East Coast, the rest of the U.S. is similar to that, with a small prong, large prong, and a grounded uh, prong. That the small one will be hot. Okay, if it's different somewhere else, someone can let me know. Appreciate it. Interesting little tool. This one is the most interesting by far. <laughs> I can't believe that they sell this kit for a hundred bucks. The amp meter itself went for like 65. The digital thermometer I think was going for about 40 or 50 dollars. I have to check that online. And this stick tool, electrical stick tool, is going for like 28 dollars. So that's close to $145 or so, or maybe more, plus tax, shipping, and all that. And this is a hundred bucks came, this whole kit. I was very happy with that. Also has a uh, temperature right here on the bottom, has a temperature. I have to learn how to use all these tools, so I really couldn't give you an accurate review right now. But for now, at least you can see what I'm upgaming my electrical experience with. I also tested against this guy BK position I believe this is the yep B2709 excuse me 2709B I bought this because it has capacitor testing capabilities and I remember somebody before I bought this told me that that 
that tool originally cost $150 just to test capacitors and this was like 90 bucks or something and it served me well for the past five six years I really enjoy using this tool I had a Milwaukee that walked two legs <laughs> I used to use a wiggy style before this for the most part when I first started 25 years ago 26 years ago <laughs> um, used that for a long time and that served me well but things are more complicated here with aluminum wiring and hence I'm upgrading my kit now here I used to talk bad about these I couldn't test voltage which one was number one actual voltage number two I see a lot of guys that use just that they don't use a multimeter don't know how to use a multimeter don't want to use a multimeter and that didn't sit well with me you know you're working on current and you're trying to diagnose stuff you're going to need a multimeter so I'm keeping my BK position it'll probably be my goal too but if I need to test amperage I got this guy this one does test amperage but you got to take the face off the panel and you got to stick it on the wire off coming from the break of the hot side and poss possibly the ground bar um, excuse me the neutral bar and you can probably get read amperage on that that way but it's this is goes around wires and stuff like that you guys seen that electrical extender which I can use for cable I should might not need that only have to pay $13 for this I believe this guy was not cheap it was expensive but I'm very happy that I got it to my collection it's gonna come in handy later on I got so many videos I gotta do for you guys it's not gonna be easy and I want to do it right so I don't want to rush this one but at least you guys got a first look at it okay it's important to me you guys see what's going on not much else on the bottom there and not much on the top let me at least open it up so you guys can see what they look like and I'm wondering if this one actually comes with a pouch or not and sure enough comes with a pouch nice I believe I did show you guys the box for all you guys that subscribe to my channel and even for those who not you will be seeing this, this stuff used live um, later on get a real demonstration uh, it was that guy okay there's the pouch there there goes this guy right here <laughs> you can see I'm already at the time here and I couldn't even give you a description of using the tool yet because that's how much intense this is going to be and I want to do it right Okay, definitely manuals to read okay. and the meter itself it is not heavy it's nice um, it's got capacitance resistance continuity you amperes Hertz now Hertz is nice I don't think my other tool has Hertz it does have Hertz <laughs> Hertz is nice. Uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, nice. A uh, bunch of other things. A light. And you only have two prongs here. You don't have three. Um, like on my other one. I'm going to get a magnetic clip that goes into here. So I can just put it on, uh, on say, furnace or something. I'm working on that. Or electrical service panel. I'm working on that. I can put it on there and take my readings and stuff like that and you can see I do have alligator clips here so they're available pretty inexpensive on Amazon uh, okay there's a lot more to say here and I can't say it properly this time I don't want to take too long on the video I hope you guys enjoy and reviews are coming up I promise